Welcome back to the Glaze Studios oil painting tutorial. This is Komati Sivasankaran. We are in class 5 of the Adara Rishwara painting. The half man, half woman. The completion of the universe, yeah, in a way showing complete universe, half man, half woman. So we are working on uh this painting and let me just quickly go over what we have done as a recap um we we had started out with uh, understanding the basics of canvas and uh, preparing the canvas and also spent quite a bit of the time understanding references and uh, uh selecting various element from references preparing the reference for for the next step planning so we are still in the uh i would say last phase of the planning stage where we are still on the canvas but we are now plotting uh, or uh, marking lines and gestures on places spaces where we want the uh, key characters to be represented so it's not into detailing at all uh we are still in that stage and the last class was um more focused on you know uh preparing these grid lines and then um starting off with the overall uh, superstructure of the key characters so we we did start off so we are going to continue in this session with with the same uh and i'm going to make this camera the primary camera so you see more of uh, what you have here okay and um it is just so fantastic so um i have the secondary camera also placed and that is now turned into primary camera so it's fine for you to uh, work with and let's um quickly go over the materials no change with the materials um as such it's the same um burnt amber uh, that i'm using and i haven't taken a refill since uh, last class it's the same uh, in the palette that is a use and throw palette that i have i have a zero brush with me the same brush and a little bit of um linseed oil in a tin can um i have some uh, tissues uh, and also uh earbud to rub off things if i need i have used the measuring tool in the last class i don't need um um much of it in case i need i might uh, use a um magnifying glass just to check on uh, what i'm doing if i need uh, and when i'm working on something and showing something in details i don't think i will need much of it today but if i did i will definitely make sure i'm opening up the file for you to on the laptop so that you are also able to see in an enlarged version otherwise we are all good to go let's um, get started uh with the next steps so before we get started the usual thing that i get to say is that what did i do last class is there any space that i want to improvise or so um and i'm just gauging where things are and see that it's all good just going to bring it slightly down so it's um it's exactly yeah here for you right on the Uh, on the overall superstructure of what we did in the last class um i think it's pretty much the same we decided we are going to rework on the face because this is not the face that we are going to uh use uh so that is fine for now the main elements of you know the hair the matted hair um the ganga flowing from the top of his head which was not clearly visible in this picture we took it from the other um that is there and then the snake um on this side shakti's uh um side uh, we just did a little bit on the 
um, on her jewelry, uh, spacing for her jewelry, nothing much. I think we stopped there. I do not see a need for much of a change, so I'm I'm good to go. I'm going to get started, and right now I'm looking at um, Shakti side where the shoulder mm, and. uh with god and goddesses if they are having multiple hands uh also the shoulder lines could be um you know slightly different so just watch out for that um why do god and goddesses have multiple hands it's a it's a debatable question but um to to my understanding um there there was a period in time when um i think it's it's an evolution of mankind when there were different forms of animals versus human beings and so on existing in our planet long long ago so long ago we do not know um so there is a possibility that we had uh, different uh, you know personalities different structures and one one thing that is prevalent you would have seen in the hindu religion is that there is this um um uh, hanuman uh, very simply told the monkey god um, that's also a representation of in if you go back to science it's called pitki can thropus erectus uh it's a long word but the if you look at the last phrase of it pitki can thropus erectus erectus re- represents the first ever um animal or the monkey um or the ape that was able to stand erect so that's an evolution of you know mankind um so we are somewhere connecting all those dots so uh, do not be surprised if you are seeing for the first time all these things um why so many hands and such so there could have been possibilities we never know i do not have any proof with me but this is what i could connect with science you know um so i'm coming back to the practical aspect of uh, the picture uh, d3 is where i am and i am working on the hand that is in the front uh, of the body uh, so the, you can see the hand that is coming down you know the she has put the hand uh, right down like this um, that's the hand i'm working and that has a shoulder line so that's the shoulder line i'm working on and that starts with d2 especially uh, the where we have the um ear uh, ring uh, or the the ear uh, ornament is coming down at the point i am picking it up and i am bringing that shoulder down here seeing that it is almost you know crossing this um, i i did tell that i will do a little darker version of what i am doing so it's easier for you to learn or see from here so that's where it is coming down isn't it i can see that this is where her shoulder is this one is a sharper shoulder line and it's coming down crossing e ever so lightly and coming down further here yes we've got that shoulder line and now let's do the shoulder line that's slightly behind it looks like it's parallel yeah it's almost there it's it, it is confusing for those who are seeing such such um features for the first time but it is slightly going away in e i'm going to move the camera around or rather adjust this so this is where i am in e where there is this hand that is holding the lotus flower in in yeah in here 
so that's another hand so that has got the shoulder line slightly behind almost doubling it but it is there it's coming down here and then i i see that the arm the <clears throat> i'm going to do the spacing for the hand here when i come down i'm still in e3 but i'm going down towards e4 because that's where i see the uh elbow huh? of that other hand yes so i've done it i've placed it like this and i'm going to draw the hand itself when i do that it's in e3 going towards e4 so i'm just doing this um the thumb the way she is she is uh, she is holding is like this she's going to use my other hand so she is holding it by the stem holding the flower by the stem so two fingers are like this and the other three fingers are like this but it's just the opposite hand yeah um so we are going to do that bringing this down ever so lightly and also i'm just checking the hand can it be slightly thicker yes i guess so um and also giving some space for the ornament knocking this off not going to go into the details of the fingers but i'll just mark them for now just marking lines i'm not to even drawing them properly marking lines for now to see where things are because it's the, the little finger is almost crossing the so i have marked it i'm not done details i've just done this and i'm putting um the stem right here it's going through oh it's a huge stem i don't know if we really need that big one maybe we could uh, improvise but i'm just drawing it for now to see um and then the flower goes here isn't it let's not do too much of the flower now i'm just going to leave the marking for the flower So that's about the flower. Hmm? Fair enough. So let's let's see uh, what about the next hand, um, the the one in the front. We did start drawing it, but we didn't uh, go through the details of it. So I'm going to look at where the. Uh, Where her bust line is, do that. Um, curve, leave that over, and she's wearing this blouse. So I'm going to put in some sort of detailing of the blouse. the sari draped around her 
that is this line coming out so i'm just doing that and i think it will help if i move the camera again one notch down This is where her the other arm is, yeah. And to support because you know the way she is standing, you know, it's a stylish. And we, we, uh, I mean, for our own understanding, it's just you know, but it's a, uh, it's a very traditional beauty, yeah. Uh, the way women stand. So I like that. I will try to see. if we can get that angle right so if we get that angle right then it helps us to do the hand and that angle mm, i wanted to in this picture it's slightly you know um, too much of a shape i don't want to do that much so i'm restricting myself to d column uh, you will see that in the picture it is moving slightly across to through through e I'm going to bring it down. Um here I think this curve itself is so beautiful. I I want the curve but I don't want it too much uh, the way it is. Uh if I have to show you what I'm doing um So the real curve is somewhere over here in uh e and it's coming crossing like this it's just uh, uh what do you call too much of a shape that i want to avoid and i will do this in red color so i have a bit of vermilion left over from uh, another session so i'm going to do this in red to you to show you where i'm drawing the line versus where the line is in the picture so um, this is where i am closing and i feel that this is a beautiful curve but not too much of a curve um i want to keep it to that yeah so if if we have this hand here because of us changing the angle here the hand also will change sli- ever so slightly coming here if it's resting on the hip so it's going to cross the uh t versus e you know the grid here it's going to cross here and i'm going to bring it down here like this mm-hmm. and this is where you see those uh, bangles or ornaments on the hand and then you see the hand i can move this again one more chop fine so then here you see the hand it's an e5 but you see the way it is put in e5 i am moving it one notch uh to the left it is still in e5 but one notch to the left um 
I'm going to just make the space for you to see. Yeah, I'm just making a circle for you to see. It's a very light circle here. This is where the hand is going to be visible. So now I'm working on the thumb space. Yeah, and then the and as such fingers. not drawing all the details i'm just leaving the space for the fingers yes we have done it like this is this fair enough here on this line so now we come down further so i'm working on shakti totally coming down through uh d hmm? so i'm going to pull this up slightly so you can see i've come through d6 that's where the space for the knee is coming up d6 somewhere around the line in d6 and d7 through d7 i get down to d8 and that's where again i have to move the yes slightly down you can see better and that's where the space for the foot has to be defined so i'm just um doing this lines and uh her drape her sari is covering a part of her, her foot so you cannot see too much of her foot but it does leave us with her toes for us to see and that's i'm going to put the space out here for the toes and not go into the details mm -hmm. So that's that's what we have done on Shakti side. Um, we are doing good with time. Let's come back again to Shiva's side. And uh, to Shiva's side, we don't have much of adjustment here on the body as such, but we do have a major change that we wanted to make. in terms of the trishul and the damaru coming on his hand which i like and let's reference again other pictures do show something like that so i'm going to go for that yeah so that's the only change let's do the shoulders first okay i'm going to bring it further down so you can see where his shoulder some back close to the neck before the start of his hood it's in it's very mildly in c3 starting in c3 uh coming to b3 and i'm doing the shoulder and the hand that is in the front that's slightly easier to follow 
coming down to B4. slightly adjusting it one more time this hand goes up here in c4 hmm? Moving up to the C3. Where this hand is blessing us. Huh? just to put the space in for the finger and the hand hmm I see the mistake again okay I think I have gone wrong somewhere I'm going to rub it off um I'll tell you where I noticed the mistake. The finger as such is actually very close to the snake. And you see the way I have put it. So it's uh, um, slightly off. So I'm going to rework on it. The way I do it is that I, I when I have a chunk of stuff that I need to remove uh, in, the, um, in the tissue paper, I take a little bit of uh, oil and I start rubbing it off. So it's totally gone. And yeah, I make sure that the excess oil, in case there is, it's removed. And uh, then I can start afresh. As I can see the proportion error. Huh? So I'm just bringing it slightly upward here. Um, a little bit of this it's misleading for me I'm going to remove that shoulder line very minor adjustment but it does make a difference for me ah yes now it talks just seeing the connection so now I'm back to the hand a little bit more in the right direction on the finger the uh, thumb spacing for the thumb and then the fingers i think they are now back into the position where they should be the ornament on the hand it's usually Rudraksha that he is wearing he doesn't wear much of ornaments I cannot see the difference between the both the shoulders though I don't know. I think we will have to look into our uh, picture in detail. But for now, it looks like, you know, I have pretty much what I need. 
So I'm going to go for it. What I'm missing is this, uh, you know, the shoulder chunk, the fold that I wanted isn't uh, that good. Um, so I'm just trying to remove that part and kind of place it right. And then the Rudraksha chain in his. Okay. You left that space. So there is another, uh, you know, the, the shoulder and the hand, but it's all really very tightly connected. So it's, it's, it's um, hard to see through. But I can see that it is existing here. So if I have to bring the canvas slightly closer to me, good enough hmm the other hand where is it it's in it's in uh, uh, b3 it doesn't move away from b3 at all so just be aware of that I'm building that space for the other hand the elbow of the other hand is here. It's in B4. Yeah, it's going from B4 through B3. Connecting that, and we'll have to remember this hand. It's holding something, so the holding position I think we can try to mimic. fingers grabbing onto something yeah I'm doing that that is fair enough I will do the line coming through but then it's going to go through all the way down we will do that slightly after uh, we are done with the body in here in C uh, C4 yes in C4 we have the hip And we don't want to have a, the, the woman's uh, sort of a hip, it's a straight hip. So I'm just putting an angle here. And uh, this is where the, um, what does he wear? It's tiger skin, I think. Ah. putting in the space for all the Rudraksha Mala that he is wearing. Yeah. Hmm. 
This is where the lady's um, ornament on the hip comes. Yeah. And then for him, we go on creating the conch we will do later. I think I can work on it slightly later because I wanted to pick up the conch from another picture. So I'm going to move the canvas around. Hmm. Yes, so we have it's in C5 that I am in. I am going through C5 almost, you know, not changing anything about it it's through C6 now. Coming down to C7. When I come down to C7, hmm, is this good? Yes, it's good enough. I want to see there is something on the C6. Uh, that's that's exactly where you see the partition, isn't it? So the uh, the tiger skin. So I want to show that coming through and closing in on C6. C7, you see his bare skin in the, the leg. Eh? And then we go down to C8. Before we go to C8, C6 and 7 have this. The leg. The muscle showing up. Eh? Yes. So now I move it up a little bit so you can see the eight, his foot. Not going to go into the details again. His foot. The spacing for his foot and this is where you see the partition going right through and these are all let's do a little bit of the clothing here just so we There we go, we have the superstructure. We do have a lot to work on, um, but let's make a stop here, yes. So I'm gonna bring the canvas down. Yes, fantastic. So let's just stop the
make a stop here and let's do the assessing of where we are this has been a um, a critical class where we have done um the superstructure yeah so that's what we did just to summarize we have finished the superstructure of where we wanted uh, uh oh sorry before we we do the summary there's one more thing that is missing here yes so i'm going to go back so i've brought the um camera angle down slightly towards this direction so we are going to do the trishul and uh the trishul is the trident um initially is in a yeah so i'm going to have it moved across here so if the trident is going to be here and just move on to do this line continue with this line and make it go up like that and then i will leave the space for the trident here uh we'll beautify the trident later but just to place the trident i'm going to mhm mm so we have just done this line and place the trident yeah that's where the trident is coming and then we have on the trident we have the tamaru or the i actually do not uh recall how it is set up but i will check again with the other picture but for now i can leave the space i want to make sure that it is not exactly on his hand so i'm just leaving the space here for that tamaru or the drum the small little drum here yeah i have done that and maybe i will move it around wherever i need Uh, and as regard this line the line has to flow through isn't it so we are going to um and this drawing the line it is initially coming from a through b a1 through b8 but if i have to move it slightly then it will be somewhere in the end in the corner of a a1 but it will come down very close to c8 so i'm going to move this up so i can show you what i'm doing so you see that i will keep on i don't need a a ruler but if you feel the need of it you can use it um like this then you can see yeah where things are so i'm going to bring it down like this and bring it down to c8 let me do that it's very close to the foot that it is coming to i'm going to shift again to show you one more time so if you see where the foot is yes so it's almost close to the foot that's exactly how it will come out if we are going to move it slightly to the uh, closer to the body yeah so that's what is happening so we are also done with planning of the superstructure yes okay today just to summarize it's been a very intense uh, work for us um almost you know finalizing the superstructure of um shiva and shakti uh, we haven't worked on the face as yet uh, we just have picked up what we can from this picture that we used um and have made some corrections some adjustments as well along the line um and uh, we make a stop with this class right now and what we will do in the next class is that we will take the other reference material to work on the face 
uh, and then with you with that uh, reference material support we will try to see if we have got the uh, you know trident and uh, the damaru correct maybe it needs a little bit of adjustment so we will do that we will check in on the animals as well because we have not touched the animals we will start placing the animals by the side of uh, shiva shakti uh, dhanareshwar so that's also something that we are going to do in the next class it's uh, it will be intense again because of the face face is very important so it will be intense but at the same time we will also get to see the overall view of what is coming up you know what are we doing are we using the space effectively and not so we will it, it, it's a it's a heavy uh, canvas that we we can expect because we have uh, quite a bit of characters here um so yeah let's see how far we are able to uh, balance and not overpowering but still having the elements that we want to have in this um 80 by 60 canvas in the next class so thank you very much for uh, joining in and participating and if you have reached this far this is a this is a, a great challenge that you have um tried to achieve so congratulations on that um i will um I I will uh, request you at this stage that you continue reviewing what you are doing uh it could be you know there could be some errors that we haven't seen so I, as you as I speak to you I'm also seeing okay is there any scope for correction so there's always something that uh, one might have missed so please do check in um and if you want to make corrections you do remember how i did it uh, if while it is wet it's really easy to you know use a tissue and uh, remove with oil what you have done and and then you know start a fresh so do review uh, and get ready for the next session thank you very much again have a nice evening bye bye